I didn't know much about it at the time, but I always thought it was very cool. And uh, about this time last year, I bought a kit, which is the one that's running right now. And uh, I bought that and I, I built it and I put it together. And uh, I've spent about the last year working on it and calibrating it and really learning everything about it from the inside out. And uh, what it does is it feeds this material down through a series of gears into what's called a hot end. And when you feed it through, it comes out as a malleable, melted material. And what it does is in the same way that you use a cake frosting extruder to draw a picture on a cake, you would draw a layer and then you fill it in and then the entire apparatus moves up a, you know, a tenth of a millimeter and then draws another layer and then fills it in and then continues on. And, uh, and you do this until you have a finished object. I enjoy working on larger, more ambitious projects. Something that I've been working on was a open source project. This is the extent that I've actually made so far. This is a mechanical prototype. This was made on about five or six different printers. And um, it actually has motors that are housed inside the forearm. There's also a motor that controls the movement of the bicep. And it's more or less built like a human arm. And this was kind of, and this is something that I've been working on for about seven months or so. It was really cool. Uh, it was a, a, a very interesting thing that I had no experience with. And putting the kit together, uh, I built it in about a day or so, and it was running, you know, the next day. And the coolest part about it was being able to take a 3D model and look at basically a picture of something, and then hit print, and then come back a few hours later, and it's just sitting there. Being able to render something and put it, being able to see it on the computer, seeing like a 3D model of something and hitting a button to start and then having it appear in front of you is a really cool feeling, especially when it's something that you've designed or something that you're a part of. I mean, just go buy one today and start working on it. There's like a six or seven month learning curve and the sooner you get started on it, the better.